Hello, my name is Jeff. This is Castle Children's, your 2A Self-Defense Law Network. I uh, really appreciate you guys uh, showing up. I have, I am, come on, I'm asking for money. Because I went from about $150 a month down to 20 ish a month with uh, the ad revenue on AdSense with Google. A lot of my videos have been, um, seemed as uh, undeemable, and uh, they likened it to porn accounts. Okay. I need help to get books, to get a better education, to get me educated so I can get to you educated. So I do have a Patreon page. Um, I only do four videos a month. If you do a couple of uh, you know bucks a month, I would greatly appreciate it uh, because it does take a good 15 to 20 hours of my week each week to learn stuff and to uh, video stuff, uh, edit stuff, uh, do these uh, these videos, that kind of thing. So I really do appreciate it. The other thing that are going to be helping me out here is, um, I don't know what that is, but uh, my uh, Two A Self Defense Law Facebook page. Uh, I do put um, some things there. Sometimes you'll get a, a head start of what I'm working on that week. Uh, this week you you win, but if this is something that you're interested in, I have about 68 followers or something. Let's keep that going, okay? Because it it does help uh, out a lot. What I'm going to be talking to you today again is people who get into trouble. And uh, we talked a little bit about Alexander Weiss's case. I'm going to go over his story a little bit. And I want you guys to physically get yourself in the mindset of what's going on and what would you do at a certain time. This was in January after a snowstorm. Um, Alexander Weiss, who is a Cub Scout volunteer, who is a, a church volunteer, who was going to referee his local basketball league. He saw a car slide through an intersection and hit a water grade, um, have an accident. He pulled up behind them to render assistance and before that the driver of the car, Muhammad, backed up and smashed into his Subaru. Both drivers get out of the car, the passenger of uh, Muhammad's passenger gets out of the car and uh, Muhammad comes up to him and says, what are you doing? This accident's your fault gets uh, you know within inches of his face what happens was with Alex what he did is he turned around went back to his car got his Glock 19 and a cell phone and while this was happening Muhammad parked his car on the other side of the street okay when Alex Xander got back he told the witness his passenger that he was armed and not to do anything stupid um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Muhammad came back, started getting it into his face again with inches of his face. Um, Alexander pulled his weapon out to a low well, uh, low ready. And Muhammad said that, oh, that's not a real gun. Uh, go ahead and shoot him, spit on him, and then went after his gun. And that's when Alexander took one step back and shot him in the chest. Muhammad was dead. What is this story? What is this story about? You know, is is he justified? In my opinion, no, he's not. He has so many problems, what we discussed about last week, with the seven uh, thumb down uh, events that will get you an anger probing. One is a minor, going after minor, excessive force, uh, not retreating, um, not dialing on a one. Let's just go through this. What happens if the older Alexander Weiss went to his car, locked his door, called the police, and didn't re-engage into this this nonsense that is going on. Alexander is six foot one. He is two hundred and fifty pounds. Muhammad is reported to be five foot seven and a hundred and sixty pounds. And his passenger is reported to be five foot six, a hundred and thirty pounds. These guys are not huge specimens by any means. Uh, especially from a six foot one, two hundred and fifteen pound uh, a guy. You could have just sat in your car and waited. You know, some people, some ninnies on the internet are oh, you don't know, you don't know if they have an AR-15 in the car. They could have gone back to the AR-15 car, and if you're sitting in your car, it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. Um, this argument falls on his face because it's just nonsense. So what you're basically saying is if you have any disagreement with anybody, you just shoot them first and ask questions later, uh, which is just totally asinine. You can only shoot an immediate threat of death or great bodily harm. You can't shoot because you are 
have a speculation of something that might happen. The other thing uh, is, you know, he, he could have retreated into his car. Um, he could have dialed 911. Uh, he could have done a lot of things where this would have just been a, a weird Sunday. I think this was on a Sunday. A Sunday uh, morning where now he is charged with second degree murder. That is a lot uh, to to overcome. Now this right here, this you know, him, this is um, Muhammad. Right here is Muhammad. I don't know who this character is. All right, he is a troubled seventeen-year-old teen. We don't know his record. It's been sealed because he's a Jewy against who so on. You know, it, 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 we get this in the comics all the time, where some people will say. Well, I've seen a lot of people, smaller people. Uh, disparity of the force is nonsense because I've seen a small two foot one person go against a thirteen point nine, um, a thirteen point uh, eighteen uh, inch person because one punch he, he's killed. Well, the law does recognize that one punch will generally kill you. It's not considered deadly force. A barrage of punches, yeah. Um, a position advantage while those um, uh, punches are going on to the temple. Well, yeah, not in this situation. If we go over the AOJ triad, opportunity, uh, ability, opportunity. Mohammed didn't have the uh, the ability nor the opportunity to cause death or great bodily harm immediately at that moment. Just wasn't there. He's just being an annoying seventeen year old punk, and people get bewildered when I tell them that they may actually have to go fist on fist with somebody to defend an ordinary defense situation. Just because you have that gun on you, this doesn't mean it's going to be nice and clean and you don't have to get into an ordinary force fight that all you have to do is pull your handgun out and shoot the 17-year-old kid for being annoying. Yeah, he's being aggressive. Get in your car and lock it. You know, 25 years old. I, I think this guy... His only hope is to get a, a mutual combat tag on this because of Muhammad and him getting a manslaughter charge. So at least he can be have you know be out in his thirties or early forties, still have a life, compared to second degree murder where it'd be you know, you know, fifteen, you know, twenty years or whatever. That is the thing that we really need to learn. John Farnham talks about this a lot, 29 times out of 10. Once the gun is involved, that guy will back down. Well, here we go. Here's the one kid that didn't back down, and he went after you. You can't use a gun for intimidation. This is another thing. Alexander pulled his gun out, put it at the low ready. Was that an intimidation factor, thinking that the 17-year-old boy will put his tail between his legs and run? I'm sorry. When you're dealing with the little punk, you don't know if he has the wits to run away. And he didn't run away. He went for the gun. You introduced the gun. He went for the gun. Because because like it or not, guys, um, you can regain your innocence. And when you go from, or if, if, if Muhammad is given ordinary force, and now Alex puts into deadly force, well, the 17-year-old punk now can defend himself with deadly force because you introduced it, you escalated it into a deadly force event. All right. I hope this helped out a lot. I'm going to be putting out the uh, uh, the murder complainant. Uh, you guys read it, and if you are meticulous and really wanting to learn about self defense self defense law, read this document right right here, and go over what I've been teaching about innocence, eminence, proportionality, avoidance, and reasonless, and look to see how many different ways that Alexander screwed up on all five of those elements. All five of them, really. My name is Jeff. This is Castle Toads, your home defense network. I hope this helped.